about an hour to go now. 17.59, right, it's almost up to 18 hours and there's 86 k's to go. This is traveling light. I think what we found kind of exceeded all of our expectations. It was really a fantastic story of an incredibly remote, rich, underwater wilderness. So about six months ago, we kind of locked in, yeah, this is interesting, this is worth doing, and that started a train of events to lead us to where we are today. The mighty sea dragon, 72 foot X challenge around the world race boat, made to go around the world backwards against the currents, against the winds, and the harshest conditions. And it's just a tough, kick-ass boat. Um, can go anywhere. Yeah. It's a very powerful, strong boat that can handle anything. from shore. What could go wrong? Having a really experienced team, um, all the technical divers, the film crew, you know, people that really know what they're doing and trying to do something that's actually pretty dangerous out here in the middle of the ocean. And being able to pull off that operation I think is, is pretty important. Um, so that's definitely something that we've faced challenges that I've never kind of faced before. The purpose of this expedition was a first exploratory look at a very remote area offshore of Brazil out in international waters and it's a string of long seamounts that head out to 800 miles off sea. Uh, interesting to us because seamounts come up real close to the surface, rich with life and also very vulnerable and this is the, an area that while you can look at it on a chart, you know, we actually have almost no information what's actually out there and what the place looks like and how important it is biologically. For the last couple of hours we've just been um, performing the search pattern. We managed to find the, the outer 100 meter contour, um, so pretty much where we lose depth soundings. Um, so we marked those out and then we've just been traversing back and forth in between um, to try and find the pinnacle or at least something shallower. We came out to Jessur Bank and then to Davis Bank um, to see what we could find really to investigate a pretty much undiscovered, undocumented, uncharted seamount. And I saw 120 foot on the sonar and just here there was a bump um, so we could clearly see a um, rise in the seabed. You can see here it coming up it just went from 146 and then there's that sudden wall up there coming up now we just said 110. Course 282, range 900 foot. About 60, 50 to 60 foot of, of slope. Okay? Yep. That's great. Did you mark that spot where we said that looked good? There they are! It's clear, the water is perfectly clear. Crystal clear.
dive down and you see stretching out underneath you this beautiful underwater landscape. And then it's just, it's full of life. You know, 300 miles offshore uh, with 10,000 foot of water around you, and here we are in anywhere from 100 to, well, we dove anywhere from 100 to 300 foot of uh, depth, and we were on some really cool reefs with a lot of life. When you do get down there, everything looks kind of bluish green, but I did see some incredible structure and in a field of sand, just growing right out of it is a mound of coral, just enjoying the bit of sunlight that comes down and a bunch of fish being attracted to that. And on top of that, you get some sharks, some eels, some large fish. Every place that we went down, whether it was Jasso or Davis or that other little one in between that doesn't even have a name, um, they were all completely different. Some flat looked like a bulldozer would come over them, others with great big cliffs and tunnels and everything else. So um, who knows what else is out there, just a hundred foot in the other direction. This is genuine exploration in the sense of, you know, sort of no one has been before. We, we will dive this mount and the first four people down will literally be the first people ever to see that surface of the earth. Uh, and it is as unknown to us uh, as actually quite literally the surface of a faraway planet. I mean, we can use our science and, and a little bit of our sonar to sort of predict what we expect to see, but honestly, we have no idea. We have no idea what we're gonna see down there, and that's what makes it so exciting. Lots of fish all over the place, big schools. Uh, definitely worth uh, spending some time here.